Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we have an interesting video and I know I say that for every freaking video but I mean it this time. Why should you join a business fraternity? And before you click away because you're like, why is this even on my channel? Like this is technology consulting, careers, money, right? Where does business fraternity come from? You're like three years into graduation, why? <laughs> and I think like one of the main reasons why I wanted to mention it, it's mostly because number one, I am actually a national officer on the national council. So outside of just the normal chapters in the collegiate level or the alumni level, I actually do a role specifically in VP of alumni affairs. And I've also like did the Eastern regional director before that. So I'm like pretty passionate about this. I like really preach on involvement in the school level. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit as well. In addition to the fact that like I just discover technology consulting because of this business fraternity or I have a lot of my friends coming from this business fraternity. So let me just first start off that what is a business fraternity? I think like when I first started off at Boston University, I always thought there was just normal sororities and fraternities like you know the social ones where they just go party drinking hazing all that kind of stuff so I just was not interested at all I was looking more into like clubs that I would come in have networking events learn something new probably that kind of stuff but I did not even know about professional fraternities it's not just professional fraternities too like they have community service fraternities as well and they're co-ed so it's not like they're just girls or boys there's like so many different opportunities out there and I really want you to kind of look into the professional fraternities for me specifically business fraternity stood out to me because I wanted to do business I was a freshman did not know what to do and actually my story started off basically when I was not even at Boston University just yet the main founder made a Facebook post in my Facebook group I actually created a Facebook group for the question school of business at the time it was school of management and it was because everyone else had one like this College of Arts and Sciences the College of Communications but nothing for business so I started one and then I boom it happened so he posted in that Facebook group like if anyone was interested in starting a business fraternity in which I messaged him what is a business fraternity and he gave me that same exact response so the main reason why I was gravitated towards this particular business fraternity was that they said no hazing and it's gonna be new so you have like a fresh startup kind of vibe where you have a lot of say and because I was a freshman and I didn't even know what to do I was like you know what why not <laughs> I'll just do it and see like what ha what takes me because like there's really no obligations and later did I find out there really were obligations but that's a good thing so what I ended up doing was I actually was one of the founding members I was the youngest one too I was the only freshman everyone else was like a sophomore or junior because that's how they started the fraternity was on campus as I'm not even in the campus yet so when I first started out we did rush events we did pledge events but because I was part of the founding class like I actually didn't even have to do that I I did have like a pledging class generally where it's like an exam I mean, it was just like you go there you take a pledging ceremony and done you're there you're now fully initiated and the chapter is now inaugurated so for me like I went to Phi Chi Theta so it is one of the smaller ones but I actually really enjoy it because I mean clearly you can say I enjoy it because you know like I'm literally on the National Council it's because of its small close-knit environment of like people from all over the place it's primarily in the US I think like at some point we have had a chapter like in Canada but that's not official so this was just a really cool way to have like a small community that is really dedicated to the cause of professional development and business so one other small thing that we tweaked as like because we first started out we have like our little own ability to change what we wanted to focus on and so we also had tech so for what tech we had people in computer science and engineering into enter into the business fraternity chapter on our campus and then a lot of our events were also geared towards that like through startups tech roles and eventually we're going to go more into like traditional roles like marketing and and finance but because of that i had a lot of exposure towards technology through coding and through people who can help me through that so a lot of times like from my own background when i did management information systems they required a coding class i actually did have people i can go to to talk about that because of that so it had the best of both worlds of both business and technology i would say that's gonna be the same for all the other business fraternities out there and also all the other chapters of phi chi theta but i highly encourage you to go check them out because it's really good to just learn about business and also learn about all the other benefits that we're having just what I'm gonna talk about right now so one of the benefits of actually being in a business fraternity for one you actually get like a nice network of people around you within your university so what I mean by that is like either the people you pledge with or in this case become a new member with some places they call it new members some places they call it pledges depending on what the school wants you to say at Boston University they're now potential new members 
So here, like you're going with a bunch of people in your cohort, could be 10, could be 20, could be 30, maybe even five people. And this whole group, you're actually going through this training process, which is the new member program or the prelate or the pledge program. This is where you learn about the fraternity and you also learn a lot of your career skills. So things that I've actually gone through, like the reason why I'm so well versed in these career skills is because I went through every single one of them all four years of my life there. So I basically was not even the pledge master. I mean, I was pledge master at one point, but I sat through all of them because I just wanted to know what people were saying and like what they were thinking and how the course has evolved. So from that, it's just like ingrained into my head of what I could do. So this was basically like, I would say the most helpful area, hope most helpful curriculum, I would say, that I had at Boston University. The career centers didn't really do much in my opinion. The, the career preparation seminars that our school really had was also not that that interactive and great in the first place because it's not really personalized to you. It was like for a good, good class, for a whole class. So for this, it was a really good way to see why do people actually care about the resume, how to tweak it, like what are the to do's and don'ts, and it's not the ones you find online. It's like the ones you find online are very traditional. And I think like the reason why I really liked this is that we evolved as the industry evolved out there. So for example, should it be based off of relevant experience? Should it be based off of chronological order? No matter who you talk to, there's gonna be different answers but we were basically people who worked constantly to network and work with people out there in the industry. At one point we spoke to a recruiter at IBM who actually was a brother at our at Phi Chi Theta, so that's how we had that connection in the first place, and then adapted to those strategies. So it's really nice to have the cohort to go through and learn all of this together. If you're a freshman, chances are you're not even gonna learn about this until like maybe junior and senior year. And not even that, like you still need to reach out to people. This, we're literally handing it to you. While during your actual process, like after you've initiated into the fraternity, now you have this entire process of like all these cool leadership opportunities. Perk number two is that you have so many leadership opportunities at your disposal. Like you can either lead an event, you can be like our VP of fundraising, you could be our VP of finance and be our treasurer, like basically deal with money and do a lot of projections and whatnot. You could do VP of operations, you could do executive vice president, which is what I ended up doing, and you can eventually be president. There's just so many leadership opportunities. I think like the smaller you are, the smaller the group, the more opportunities there are to grow and also to learn like what you can do because it's a very startup vibe. So a lot of it's just like whatever you want to do, you could do it kind of thing. If you have a bigger group, you have the skills and experience of working with a large group of people, like either 50 or 100 people. That is also, that already itself is going to be like a lot of work and a lot of experience of like how do you even work with 100 people effectively and efficiently. So these leadership activities are very important for you to get into consulting or get into a career where you do work a lot by yourself or with your team or with the leadership. So that's why I highly recommend a business fraternity. The third one is that you're not just the chapter at your university, you're also part of a network. So either you're within other collegiate network, other collegiate chapters out there around the country, some are in the world, and that like you can actually connect with them so easily. Like for example, for me, so while I was in Boston, I was gonna go back home to New York for spring break. It was like, what am I gonna do now? I'm so bored. So I ended up reaching out to the NYU chapter and said, hey, are you guys doing anything? And then we ended up going to their alumni event. So we met their alumni, we met the NYU chapter, and we were just there like having fun time, having hot pots. So like how many times can you actually say that? If you joined a club, you wouldn't be able to say that because that would just be a club, unless it's a club that had like chapters around the country. But specifically in a business fraternity, you're actually assimilated as if it's a family. So you have like a social aspect, you have a community service, a philanthropy aspect, you have professional aspect and everything else in between. So not only that, like within your collegiate network, you also have your alumni network. So that's where I come in actually right now is that I'm currently the VP alumni affairs so I'm constantly trying to reinvigorate a lot of the alumni at our chapters um, either in the alumni chapters or alumni at large or in general like trying to bring them back in to get involved let's say for example I was a student in our mentorship program and yes like we Phi Chi Theta also does have a mentorship program so the mentorship program like let's say for example I want to go into banking I'm in Boston you know and I'm like well, I want to go into JP Morgan Chase so how do I do that I actually write down in my mentorship application that I want someone in banking or finance and then luckily I actually got someone from JP Morgan Chase so boom now we have like a communication every week with that person I eventually like she actually referred me into that role and that's actually 
actually got a how I got an internship or a job. So that's not my story. That's actually a story of a person I know within my chapter. So it's like your opportunities are endless. Like you can also get literally networking opportunities from all the around the country, even the world if people end up leaving. And at one point, like I know people who have had a mentor in Singapore, Google. So like. How many times can you actually say that? Like, if you were to go on LinkedIn and just cold call, like chances are they're not gonna really reach out back to you because you're just a random nobody. But if you say you guys are from the same business fraternity, all of a sudden now you have like a connection, you have an actual reason why you're connecting with them and that's one that's really great. So those are the main benefits. There's so many other benefits, which is why I'm still here. And I really want you guys to see that like, when you do end up going back to school or when you're maybe like you're, you're an incoming freshman, you don't even know what you're expecting, like really consider professional fraternities. And if you're interested in business, go for business fraternities, specifically Phi Chi Theta. Let them, let them know that you watch this video and then maybe they'll let you in. There's like usually a process to get in to become a new member or pledge, like you might be have like an application or interviews. And again, these interviews are actually gonna be all constructive, like you'll learn a lot about how it's like, how to do a case interview. Like our my chapter had a case interview, and it was like a group case interview. So it was really interesting to see behind the scenes and also while you're doing it. So these, the end, the opportunities are endless. You also get to meet up with a lot of people as well, like through conferences. So I think it's like definitely a no brainer. I think like if anything, if you don't have the chapter at your school, you can start one. That's how exactly my chapter started out. So if you want to start a chapter, definitely reach out to me and then I'll connect you to the right people so we can get started. So again, this is not even meant to be like an ad for Phi Chi Theater or business fraternities, but I just like highly, highly recommend it because I've had so many benefits from it. I learned so much from it. And a lot of what I'm saying in my YouTube channel is actually what I learned from my business fraternity or alumni or other students or employers that come in to even reach out to me. So. Thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye.